Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to build the display case for the collector's coin. Now, first, I want to find another coin to add. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go to the gallery. I'm going to click on a HL Mod Tech project. Click on HL Mod Tech, and I'm going to use the new HLMT23 tag to get to the latest shares. Now, if you'll slide down, currently I only know of one collector's coin. It is the other one that I made using my The Roar account. Of course, to collect this coin, you're going to have to copy and tinker. Don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. Once the project opens, select the coin that you want to collect, and then we switch over to your creations, and we create a shape for it. This is what lets us collect these. I'm going to call this one LSL coin and be patient, waiting for it to load. It may take a moment, but once it does show up, of course, make sure it has a name. You can give it a description. I never lock the part size. And then finally, we hit save shape. That's how easy it is to collect somebody's coin. This, friends, is where we start to build our cool display case, though. I'm going to return to Tinkercad Designs. And I'm going to click Create New 3D Design. We'll start by naming it, and this is going to be Coin Display Case. And then I want to show you some fancy tools. The first thing we're going to do is search for a fancy shape called Grid. When you type Grid, you'll notice there are all sorts of these. We're going to play with the Polygon Grid. Instead of a polygon, though, we're going to make it look like a circle, so we're going to max the sides. Now that we've got our polygon grid, we need to go to our creations, and we need to find our coin. I'm going to bring out the LSL coin. Notice it's currently 40 by 40. We're going to do an awesome shift scale, and then we want to type the number 20 for the size that we're going to keep our coin. Now we can take our grid, and we can adjust its measurements. To make it match the size 20, we need to adjust the radius to 10. Now it'll be the same size, but we need to change the spacing. Now we got to have this center to center spacing larger. Let's do 22 and then also do 22. Notice you can type these before they finish and then you'll see them start to snap into place. And I want to put six coins by six coins. Just type the numbers in, and then slowly but surely it'll come together. And bingo, that's going to be our coin storage case. We need to make those holes, and we're going to find another awesome part to make the box. Let's go back to Basic Shapes, Search, and this time we're going to type Soft, and it brings you the Soft Box. This thing is wicked cool. We can type in our measurements. Let's try 140 by 140 and see how close that is. Bring it over in place. That is going to be absolutely perfect. We want to fill it all the way in. So we're going to take this wall and we're going to make it 75. Notice that's more than half. And then we're only going to make it 2 millimeters thick. And we can click on the holes and do control up to raise them up one millimeter. Friends, it finishes just like this. Select them all, L for a line, center. I always like to look at this one from the corner and center. And when you group it, you have got your awesome coin display case. Unfortunately, we might have got the low skill Lenny as well. My bad for that. Let's ungroup it real quick. I'm going to click on these two and I'm going to hide them. And let's put my coin over here in the corner. Once again, bring them back, select, control G to group. Bingo. How cool is that? Now, friends, because of cruising, watch this. I can click on my coin, press the letter C, grab the cruising circle, and drop them in place. I'm going to pick a fun color for this. I think I'm going to go with a dark green. And that is how you make a display case for all your coins. If you want to arrange these by some sort of ranking, you can click on them, do C for cruising, and just grab them and drop them in the hole you want. 
Notice cruising will also let you drop them on top. If you do that, you can just hit C for cruising and drag them to the correct location again. I'm going to switch to orthographic view. I'm going to make sure it's on top and let's do fit view. Notice if we zoom in, it is a little bit off. You can fix that if you're really, really picky by just shutting off the grid and dragging it to the exact spot. When you're finally happy, you can go back to your grid and set it to whatever one you like to use. And then finally, I'm going to go back to the normal view, which I enjoy the most. And bingo, we've got a fun Tinkercad coin display case. Now, of course, friends, I am looking forward to seeing how yours turn out. You can have fun with the colors, maybe do multiple layers, of course, add text. And then when you're done with your display case, don't forget to share it. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick a cooler background color. I'm going to go with tan today. I'm going to shut off my grid. I'm going to close that. And then we need to publish our design. The steps are so simple. Click up here on the gear from the Tinkercad workspace. Click on your properties. Of course, make sure it has a great name. Mine, of course, says this tutorial is coming soon, which I'm making right now. Also, other ways you can reach me and then add tags. Of course, if you want me to see your project, make sure you add the tag HLMT23. And of course, I will check it out and give you a reaction. Finally, make sure you make it public. Prove you're not a robot. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I don't want users to copy my work. Instead, I wanted to come up here, follow the tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Of course, friends, I'll be watching the HLMT23 tag, looking for some new coins being shared so I can add them to my display case. Of course, I always appreciate the awesome designs being shared and reactions will be given. Have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you will find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and of course, the Tinkercad essentials. Don't forget, in the corner, you will also find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have got a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.